Welcome, equation of a circle, the point with coordinates A, 13, 3, and B, negative 3, negative 9, at the end of a diameter of a circle center O, determine 1, the coordinates of O, that is one mark, then the second question, the equation of the circle expressing it in the form x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c is equals to 0. So let's go to the first one. You're given the ends of the diameter of the circle. So I can um, just try to sketch it here. If this is a circle, and then you have this is the diameter of the circle. So one point A is here, which is uh, 13, 3, and then B. These are the ends of the diameter. The one is uh, negative 3, negative 9. So if these are the ends of the diameter of the circle and you're required to get the center, the center is the midpoint. This will be the midpoint, the midpoint of this line. So given the coordinates of the end points, this one is a straight line. Taking it as a straight line, how do you get the midpoint? Given the coordinates of A and B, how do you get the midpoint? Uh, this is how we get the midpoint. We have a formula which we use to get the midpoint. So midpoint or uh, midpoint so midpoint midpoint is given by x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 this is how we get the midpoint uh, when you're given the coordinates of the endpoints of any straight line so in this case, uh, we shall let um, this will be uh, x1, that will be x1 13, then this one will be y1, then this will be x2, that is negative 3, negative 3 will be x2, then negative 9 will be y2. Now having these, we can now substitute these values in this formula. So x1 13, y1 3, x2 negative 3 y2 negative 9 so therefore uh, the coordinates of point o will therefore be given by uh, x1 which is 13 is 13 then plus x2 x2 is negative 3 we divide that on by 2 then for the y coordinate y1 is 3 then plus this is negative 9 divided by divided by 2. So this one will give so 13 plus negative 3 this will be 13 minus 3 which will give uh, 10 divided by 2 and then 3 subtract 9 will be negative 6 divided by 2. Therefore the coordinates of this point O will be 10 divided by 2 which will be 5 then negative 6 divided by 2 will be negative 3. So this is now the center the coordinates of the center of the circle we go to part b the question the equation of the circle expressing it in the form this form that you're given here so before we do anything we need to know the general the standard equation of a circle the standard equation of a circle is given by x subtract a squared plus y subtract b squared is equals to r squared where where a b is the center a b is the center of the circle and r is the radius this is the standard this is the standard equation this is the standard equation of any circle x subtract a plus y subtract b you have to square this is equals to r squared so in this case we need to check what do we have we have the center which is um so for these uh, a b we have it as the center is here is a uh, five negative three do we have the radius we don't have the radius is it possible to get the radius Yes, it is possible to get the radius. Now having this circle, yeah, having this circle, 
we can manage to get the radius the radius is already we have um, from now this point a to the center we have the coordinates you can use the coordinates of the center and uh, one point either b or a and then you find the distance that distance will be the radius so we already have these uh, this one is uh, five five negative three so using now the coordinates of the center you can use the center and a we can calculate this distance using these two coordinates you know how to get the distance this will be magnitude of the length or we can use o and b so let me choose to use um, a and o so when you get this distance of the magnitude you'll be able to get the radius that will give you the radius so i'll use a so i'll use a so this is the diameter we have a and you have uh, o and you have b so i have a a is uh, 13 3 and then b is 5 negative 3 so i'll use these two so how do you get the distance to get this distance you take uh, you write this one in column form this is how you get the distance ao distance ao will be given by 5 negative 3 you just write this one in column form then subtract 13 3 so this will give you the i'll get the distance and then you shall get um show you how to do after that so subtract 5 subtract uh, 13 you get negative 8 then negative 3 subtract 3 will be negative 6 so after now getting this displacement so this displacement from a to o is uh, given by negative 8 this is the difference negative 8 negative 6 now it is time to get the magnitude the magnitude a o or the distance which will give the radius now this is what will give the radius this is what is going to give us the radius so very fast so very fast uh, we shall get it like this so negative 8 you square this this is how you get this uh, magnitude then plus negative 6 you square that and then you get the the square root of that so this is how we get the magnitude so we started by getting the displacement ao which is given by negative 8 negative 6 then to get now the magnitude of the this is what is going to give us the radius the radius so this will be 64 plus 36 we get that and this one will give the square root of it will give the square root of 100 and this will be 10 units so now you get the the radius as 10 units now having that uh, now you can go to the general format of an equation of a circle and uh, we can substitute x minus a x minus a so x minus a now so let me rub this so x minus a x minus a a is 5 a is 5 it is here you square that then plus y minus b y minus b b is negative 3 so you need to be very careful y subtract b where b is negative 3 so it will be y subtract negative 3 which will be y plus 3 you square that and this one should give you what radius squared this one should give you radius squared and what is the radius radius is 10 units radius is 10 units is here so this will be 10 squared so now we need to expand this until we get it in this form that is here we should get it in this form the required form so let us do this one very fast so this is how we do it so to expand this one already you know we've already done this how to expand this or so expand uh, x minus 5 squared you get x squared minus 10x plus 25 then when you expand y plus 3 squared you get y squared 
plus 6y plus 9. Okay, then 10 squared would be 100. So when you take 100 to the left hand side, you get negative 100. And therefore, you're writing it, You the reason why you're taking it, because you want to remain with 0, the right hand side of the equation. So that is why I've taken 10 squared to this side. So now we can organize x squared plus y squared. x squared plus y squared. And then um, for the x, we have uh, negative 10x. So we have negative 10x plus 6y plus 6y. And then we have uh, the constant um, rating, the constant, the constant c. So the constant c, so this one will be given by 25 plus 9, that will be 34. 34 subtract 100, 34 subtract 100 will be 66. That will be negative 66. Negative 66 is equal to 0. So this is now in that form. As you can check, we have ensured that is in that form, x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus the constant is equal to 0. So that equation is in that form. And that is how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you.